Welcome back to another video guys. Today as you can see we're going to be working on a 2006 Toyota Sienna. We're going to be doing a radio installation with a backup camera. This radio is uh, the one that comes out of the shell and flips up. So it's going to be a cool installation. It's not a plug and play but we're going to show you how to do it exactly. So let's get to work. And inside the box guys we have your manual, your harnesses, the camera and a remote and the actual radio unit right here um, if we turn it to the back we can see all the plugged ins that it have for videos and whatnot so let's get to work all right so the unit is uh, gonna sit some something like this on it but unfortunately it's got this curve on the top on the original radio and it's not gonna work but we have a solution we bought this off of eBay it's an adapter that it has that curve and the radio will sit inside of it so everything's gonna work out it actually comes with two harness cables that is gonna plug into the original harness but first let's go ahead and take off the old unit let's start prying on the bottom of this side so we can take the sides off and uncover the two bolts on each side that it has to take them off we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket as you can see right here and you can use your own preferred tool. All right guys, before we are able to take the old unit out, we need to take off the tab. Uh, it's held on by clips as well, so pry on both sides, uh, starting by one of the sides. It can come off easily like it just did over here for me. Jumps out. Don't be afraid. It's not gonna break. So it's it's all good right now. So let's keep going. Now we can take off the radio unit. Just pull it. And here we have it. Now we can get to unplugging the back cables that it's got. Alright, now that we have the old radio off, we can get to work on the new one. As you can see right here, this is where the new harness is going to be plugged into. They send us this manual, which you can pass right here and read all the cables, what they are for, and their positions. But for right now, let's get to work. Right here we have the harness that came with the uh, new shell for the radio, and the original harness that came with the new radio. We're going to be putting them together, it's going to be really simple, as you can see both of them have the same colors, like two purples, two greens, uh, they're different on it, they have a black stripe on the side. We're going to put them together with these butt connectors and our stripper tool, as you can see right here, we're going to take one of those and we're going to do an example work for you guys, like this purple right here, as you can see, um, we're going to twist the tip of it so we can put the butt connector on it clamp it together simple like that now we find the cable that is gonna be hooking up into in the other side in the harness over here same one so solid purple let's go ahead and put them together right here you can see the difference between the two colors this one's got the black stripe on it the one I was talking about that one goes with the other purple cable with the black stripe Let's get this one tied together first. Now we can do the same for all the other cables as well. Now that we finished putting those cables together, it's time to put the shell together as well. Now we move inside the house because we're more comfortable on this table. So let's get to work.
radio into the shell we need to take off this shield that it's got on the sides uh, the radio came with these tools to take that off so it's simple just lift this up and slide that tool in it and then you can take off the shield easily It's time to put the screws on so it doesn't go anywhere. The final touch will be to put this cover on, but unfortunately, the radio is a little bit too thick for it. It's not gonna work. So as you can see right here, we're probably gonna have to shave the sides off to make it fit, but we're not gonna worry too much about that right now. We're gonna do that later on. Right now, it looks pretty good. So let's get to work on the rest. Back on the car, guys. It's time to start running the harness that is gonna go all the way to the back to the backup camera. We're gonna be putting it inside right here let me show you real quick see that space right there that's where we're going to drop the cable down so we can grab it from the bottom right here guys you can see the cable it came out of the bottom sorry about the camera so just start pulling it out until it's completely through the other side now you can get to stripping the side of the cable that is going to be connecting to the harness in the radio for the camera we have the harness right here and we're going to be installing it with this orange cable that says back the one that says back that's the one for the reverse camera so you can see right here we put the butt connector on it already so all we have to do is just tie it down all right guys time to put all the harness together with the radio as you can see right here i'm going to be plugging in the cable into the wrong slot but as you can see in the picture plug it into the bottom so you can have the reverse camera correctly plugged in now that we have all the plugs plugged into the uh, original harness of the radio you can see there's some cables left over these cables are actually for the cars that have the buttons on the steering wheel that's why we're not using those we just put butt connectors on them so they don't rub out against anything and cause an electrical problem later on so right now let's go ahead and put all the screws back together and the sides and we're gonna be finishing with the installation of the radio and we can get to work on running the cable all the way to the back As you can see guys the radio was completely installed correctly everything is working on it even the bluetooth and the radio on it as you can see it's got the hands free for when you're talking in the phone as well so right now let's go ahead and 
get to installing the cable all the way to the back but we're gonna be finishing that up tomorrow because today is really late all right guys next day here uh, let's see if we can finish the installation today yesterday we had a late start on the video and we couldn't finish it so let's go ahead and finish today so as you can see right here i was thinking of running the cable through the bottom like we always do all the way to the back but the cable is a little bit short and i don't think we have enough cable to go from here all the way to the top so let's go ahead and try to go in the top over here and take it all the way into the trunk lid here and in the, into the back let's go ahead and try that Right here guys we have a bolt we have to take off uh, it's actually going to be a 10 millimeter so let's go ahead and take our 10 millimeter socket and take that one right off so we can run the cables behind it Over here in the back guys to make the installation a little bit easier we're gonna have to take off this seat belt right here it's got a bolt with a which is actually a 14 millimeter so let's go ahead and take our 14 millimeter socket and take it out now we can take off the trims right here just pull down on it it's all on clips and we can get the cable run underneath all of this as well Guys, to run the cable from the car to the door, we're gonna go ahead and take off this rubber piece right here that connects the door and the car together. With um, a screwdriver, you can take the clips off and take it out so we can run the cable right through it. Now, take your prying tool and on the door, we're gonna take the plastic molding off so we can access the cables underneath and do the installation on it. Let's take the harness for the camera and we're going to be installing it together with the cable that we just ran all the way through the back over here. Let's separate the black and the red cable together and we're going to be taking the red cable and putting a bat connector on it and we're going to be attaching it to the red cable that is on the other harness. Before we put those two cables together guys, right here, let's take a look. You see that red wire? That is the positive cable for the reverse of the car. We're gonna hook a T-tap right here. I have the kit for it. We're gonna hook a T-tap to it and run a cable right from it all the way down into this red cable that I have right here. That is gonna be signaling the camera to 
turned on on the radio. So first, let's run the cable through uh, the rubber piece that we took off earlier. So let's go ahead and take it right out, just like that. Run the cable through the incision of, that is in the car already. And now we can take the cable and run it through the rubber piece. Now we can put the rubber piece together again and put it back into the car and secure it. Guys, the harness that is going to be giving the power to the camera, see right here I have it in my hand, it's got a black cable, this black cable is garbage, so we just got to cut it off, I'm going to cut it off right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a butt connector on it, so we don't have any electrical problems as well. Now it's time to hook up all the red cables with the reverse cable of the car. But first we have to make an extension, remember? Um, let's go ahead and take this cable, cut it to the right amount of space that we need, strip it down, and now that we have it stripped, like I did right here, it's time to go ahead and run the cable through and put the T-tab on the reverse cable. Perfect guys, now we can hook up all three red cables. side of the door guys let's go ahead and take a t20 and take off the screws for the third brake light of the car just use a pry tool to get it loose and we're going to be running the cables for the reverse camera right behind it we're going to be putting the camera right there like so so let's go ahead and put those cables down once you do so you can put the third brake light back onto the car <music> you can grab the cables for the camera and hook them up together with the other cables. Once everything is attached, we can roll up the cables, secure them with a zip tie and put them inside the hole as well and put them away. Now 
all we have to do is fix the camera to the car. To do so, we're gonna use the screws that came in the package, and we're gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver, or this tool right here, and plug it in into the car. Alright guys, the moment of truth, let's see if everything is working on it, specifically the reverse camera. So let's go ahead and turn the car on and put it into reverse and see if it'll work. There we go guys, it's working perfectly, move it up and down and side to side to the best um, way that you like it and there you go, perfect installation. All right guys, we were able to finish the installation on the Sienna here and it's working great. As you saw on the videos, the camera is working perfectly and the radio as well. It looks pretty good. So if you like the video, give it thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done already and I'll see you on the next time.